pulmonary hypertension is often at times a very difficult diagnosis to make because the presentations and symptoms that patients have are very nonspecific. Oftentimes patients have uh, a little bit difficulty breathing, a little bit more difficult time with their daily activities, a little bit more fatigued. And oftentimes these symptoms are often just passed on as overwork or just being tired. And so uh, a challenge is that patients are often referred uh, late in their disease uh, process. And one of the advantages of the University of Maryland Medical Center is we have a very comprehensive uh, process in diagnosing and evaluating patients in a very efficient manner. Uh, specifically, uh, we offer uh, echocardiography, right heart catheterization, uh, and additional testing such as CAT scanning and MRI if necessary to define congenital abnormalities in patients who have may have had them for many, many years and may not have known about these conditions. Uh, and so, particularly with pulmonary hypertension, a specific diagnosis is very important because more, many common conditions can cause slight elevations in pressure within the lungs, such as high blood pressure, obstructive lung disease, or valvular heart disease, and the therapies for these conditions are very different than the therapies for pulmonary arterial hypertension, which are highly specialized. So it's highly critical when a diagnosis of pulmonary hypertension is made to exclude other more common conditions which have a vastly different therapy than pulmonary arterial hypertension. Once a diagnosis of pulmonary arterial hypertension is established, it's very important to uh, assess the patient's risk and further uh, define uh, the course of their disease to, to determine a therapy. Uh, the therapies run the spectrum from pills, inhaled therapies, uh, continuous infusion therapies, and so uh, they have varying uh, effects on the patient and um, some are more cumbersome than others and so it's highly dependent to identify the patient's risk prior to initiating a therapy. At the University of Maryland we have a uh, multidisciplinary approach involving a PharmD, a dedicated uh, clinical nurse, uh, as well as close collaboration with our surgeons uh, to help determine therapy. And if patients do progress in the course of their disease, we offer advanced therapies, including uh, lung transplantation in select patients.